You're saying you can't put out a thermite fire with a fire extinguisher? I don't think so. Granted, I failed I failed high school chemistry, so do with that information what you will. But I'm pretty sure that because one of the primary in ingredients in thermite is some type of metal oxide, thermite actually generates its own oxygen while it's burning. Oh. So I don't think you can really, like, smother it because it'll just keep making its own oxygen. Hmm, that would be a problem. How would you put it out? You just have to let it go until it's done. Oh. It was used in World War II to disable, like, cannons and artillery pieces when silence and stealth was, uh, was a priority because it's not that loud. Basically, if you want to destroy something really quickly, just use thermite. Hello. I don't believe we've met before. The name's Mr. Franco. We'll just, uh, leave it at that. Tell me more, Mr. Franco. Are you some kind of gangster? No, I am not. And watch your words. They do not take kindly to gangsters around here. Why are you here? You are blunt and to the point. That may come in handy. I provide the patrons of this establishment with the resources necessary to take a risk at obtaining greater wealth. What are you even saying? Use real words. I lend people money to gamble, you moron. Oh. I like to think of myself <laughs> as a provider of opportunities. Many of those who I lend money to make tenfold what I lent them. They pay back their debt and go on their merry way with their winnings. Of course, there are those who lose it. You look like someone who knows how to handle themselves out there. How would you like to work for me? I don't know if I trust this guy. He sounds like some kind of lending fish. Maybe like a borrow eel or something. A mortgage octopus. Debtor cuttlefish. A pay me back platypus. Mike, I don't think a platypus is an invertebrate. I don't think a platypus knows what it wants to be. There are some people around here that borrowed money from me, and when they lost it, they split. It's simple. I need you to do whatever it takes to get my money back from them. I don't care how you do it, be it through persuasion or uh, other means. People need to know that if they mess with me, they gotta pay up or get fed to the Night Stalkers. Why does everybody think Night Stalkers are these horribly vicious evil monsters? Maybe he's got his own pet Night Stalkers, and he hasn't been feeding them, so they are vicious. So then they'll just be dead. I will tell you who they are, and how much they owe me, and you go get the money. I would, of course, be willing to compensate you for your time and effort. You know what this means, Zach? We're debt collectors today! Oh boy, debt collectors! We've never done that job before! We'll start you off easy. The first one is a man named Thomas Hayward. He owes me a hundred caps. The crook up and left after losing it all in a single bet at the roulette tables. He's a moron because he literally ran across the street and is camped out next to the LVB station just outside. <laughs> I would go get the money myself, but I need to be here to provide to other potential customers. He just wants to gamble. Let me know when you've retrieved his measly debt. All right, then. We'll go take care of that Hayward soul. Carry on my Hayward soul. There will be peace when you give me the money. Hello, Vagrant. Do you have any money to spare? I'll take caps, NCR dollars, or Legion coin. Fuck off! I'm not giving you any of my money! Fine. I'm sure someone around here cares enough to donate. Wait, come back here. We need to extort you. Do you have any money to spare? I'll take caps, NCR dollars, or Legion coin. Uno reverso! You owe Mr. Franco money, and it's time to pay up, chump! He still wants his money? I thought he'd forgotten about me. No, he certainly did not. I don't know. I might have it if you do me a favor. I love Sunset Sarsaparilla, but I can't buy it around here. All these places just sell alcohol. Bring me six bottles of it and I'll give you the money. Where are we going to find Sunset Sarsaparilla? Oh, how about the Sunset Sarsaparilla Bottling Factory? Hey, hey, it's Sarsaparilla Day! Do you have any money to spare? No, but I have Sarsaparilla for you. Thanks. Here's the money. I hope he chokes on it. Cool, I hope you choke on those sunset sarsaparillas. Oh, you should have paid us not to kill you! Ha 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 ha! We're monsters! We're dangerous! Whoa! I saw that. It's okay. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't the only one. Well, we don't have to worry about hiding the body anymore. 
Uh, oh, there you are. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Have you handled Thomas yet? He stole our root beer, so we shot him. Oh, good. I hope he wasn't too much uh, trouble for you. Here are some extra supplies I have. Are you prepared for another job? Gives us a sick pack of Sunset Sarsaparilla. The next one is a guy named Matt Heathrow. He's a drunkard that hangs out in Freeside. If he's conscious, he's drunk. If he's unconscious, it's because he's drunk. <laughs> the man spends every cap he gets on booze. I don't even know how he managed to work out a deal with me in a state like that. That speaks very poorly of you, sir. The inebriated fool owes me 360 caps after playing a game of what he calls blackjack, and I call him haplessly squandering his chips. All right, well, we'll go take care of him. People who don't know how to play blackjack are the worst. Yeah, they're ten. Wait a minute. Yes, that was a dig at you. Yeah, there's something in beer that just makes me violently ill. Okay, don't drink beer. Yeah, I wish I could too because there's a lot of beer that tastes real good. Is there? I think people don't drink beer because it tastes good. They just like to be drunk. No, there's some beer I've drank that tastes really good and I just can't drink a lot of it. I can have maybe like two sips. That's it, huh? Yeah. Apparently he's right around here. Oh! Hey, what are... What is the... Uh, you have drink for me? Have some scotch. Whoa! Thanks a lot. You're welcome! And now that we're on his good side... Where's Mr. Franco's money? Yeah, did you spend it all on booze? Mr. Franco? Uh, damn. Ugh. I forgot about him. Ugh. Why should I trust you with my money? Hand over the money and we won't break your legs! <sighs> Fine, man. Just take it and don't come back without a drink. Thank you for those bottle caps. Hey, how's it going today, Johnny? Some people look at Cram and say, why? Me? I look at Cram and I say, hmm, Cram. <laughs> Courier, it's me. I couldn't find any donuts, so I brought some tile grout. <laughs> Courier, help! Hence your squatters have moved in. Legion are at the gates. I live with my mom. No motivating goals! <laughs> I love this character. All aboard air, Johnny. In case of emergency, you can use my seat as a flotation device. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Once I met a guy mad for bobbleheads. Would have traded a thousand caps for just one. I thought he was crazy. But damn if I ain't on the same wild goose chase. For what? For bobbleheads, gotta increase those stats. Uh, I would be an amazing lounge singer. My baloney has a first name, it's O-S-C-A-R. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> My baloney has a second name, it's M-A-Y-E-R. Tip your waitresses, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be here all weekend. What's the word on our beloved drunk? I managed to talk the money out of him. You've done well so far. Are you prepared for another job? Hell yeah, I am. Mike, are you prepared for another job? As good as I'll ever be. Woo! Okay. This next guy is a gambling addict. Everyone calls him Chips, because he's always in a casino gambling. He left town without paying me back, and he owes me 715 caps. Damn, that's a Word lot. Word is he's living out of the East Pump Station, just east of town. He stays out there because he's a ghoul. He doesn't like to be in the city for long. Let me know when you get the money from him. All right, All right well, we'll handle that. Yeah, as long as he hasn't left a 15-mile radius from New Vegas, because... Yeah, we technically can't cross the county line. It's out of our jurisdiction. <laughs> I walk right through the door. Why does your M4 look so much different? Hmm. Like, that actually looks like an M4. It might be a custom weapon. They say the Legion's bringing in veterans from out in Arizona. They must be getting ready to attack. Oh, he does have a Colt M4! What the fuck? Yeah, this is an actual Colt M4A1. What the hell? Oh man, this thing's dope. I want to use this now. All right. I need a bunch of 5.56 five, rounds. The rear sight on the M4 has like two settings. One is the like uh, two to 600. Okay, I, I know that. That's the only weapon I'm familiar with. So I do know that. You don't need to educate me on this particular weapon. I am very familiar with it. Uh-huh, I the, bet. It's the only weapon I'm familiar... What do you mean, you bet? It's the only <laughs> weapon I'm familiar with! <laughs> you only have 217 rounds? Change your weapon type. Oh my god! That is a lot of AP. 
Oh, you forgot about your armor-piercing ammo. Yes, I forgot that I had many, many, many magazines of armor-piercing rounds. Which are the better rounds anyway? Technically, all of the 5.56 five, green tip is light armor-penetrating, but whatever. <laughs> This is the M4A1. Yeah, so it's the replacement for the M16A4, which itself was a replacement for the M16A2. Mm, kind of. The M16A4 and the, the Colt M4A1 both were used by the same organizations at about the same time. So eh, for the Marines, it was a replacement for the M16A4. But <laughs> yes. for the Army, they would use the M16A4 or the Colt M4A1. Chronologically, that is how the upgrade went. That is how the upgrade went for the Marines, yes. But for the army, it was like a replacement for the M16A2. Oh, who cares about the army? They suck. What? Who cares <laughs> about the Marines? They suck. Marines are always out of money because they got to go ask Daddy Navy for more money. Unlike the army, which loves to piss away money unnecessarily. Yeah, they do. Hey, smooth skin. I don't think we've met before. Everyone just calls me chips. I have a bit of a gambling issue. It's time for you to cash in your chips. Let's play some caravan. No, not. <laughs> You still don't have a deck yet! Yeah, so we can't actually play caravan chips. I'm sorry. Anyway, Mr. Franco needs his money, so you should probably pay up. <laughs> that crick wants his money. Maybe he should have kept better tabs on me. He knows where you are. That's why he sent us after you. What could I do to convince you to pay? Hmm, <clears throat> I haven't been to the city for a while. I guess there's one thing you could do for me. If you bring me 50 chips from the Tops, the Ultralux, Gamora, and the Wrangler, I'll give you the money. Then I can reminisce about all the good times I've had there. Uh, that sounds like so much work. Oh no! So Gunned him down in his own home! I found the money! Hooray, that was easy! We also just killed a random man so that I could take his gun. <laughs> Which, I might have a problem! The, you know what that problem isn't? Having enough cap! Oh, we're rich. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> we're, I'm just gonna make a quick stop. <sighs> I didn't see a P90. Oh God, there's a toke. Oh, and it's only 38 cap. <laughs> <laughs> fucking toker up. I take it a toker oh, up is not a good gun. It's a fucking piece of trash, is what it is. Buy it. Show me. All right. Buy those wrenches too, because it sounds like we might need to fix it. <laughs> Yeah? Behold the Tokarev! Yeah, it's pretty- it's pretty shit. Eh. Mm. <laughs> that seems decent enough. The Tokarev is pretty much a copy of a Colt 1911, only in like the worst ways possible. The Tokarev TT-33 is to the Colt 1911 what an Arbani suit is to an Armani suit. You see that little C-clip on the right-hand side of it right there? On the barrel? No, on, underneath the slide, this little C-clip right there. Hmm. That holds the pins in place. That, that holds the weapon together? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and sometimes when you're shooting this, that clip will come off, <laughs> and then the gun will go blat and just fall apart. <laughs> it's kind of a piece of junk. Originally, it was in 762 by 25 which is just an absolute zipper of a cartridge. They're such hot pieces of garbage. <laughs> Let's murder the next man with it! I learned how to like disassemble and repair the Tokarev TT-33. The advice we generally got was, yeah, don't worry about repairing it, just throw it out, you'll find another one. <laughs> really? <laughs> I feel like I could do more damage if I smacked someone in the head with a graphing calculator than I could by shooting at them with a high point. Oh, those things are heavy. High points are heavy too, but- Is it me or has the Brotherhood stopped engaging us? Smartest move they ever made. No, they're all dead. <laughs> How's our gambler doing? Poor best to gamble away his life. Here's the money. <laughs> That's a, uh, a shame. Here are some spare weapons that might help you persuade future targets. Ooh, are you prepared for another oh. job? Yeah, I'm ready. I was hoping it was going to be a P90. You have uh, done well so far. This next one should be easy. It's a person by the name of Danny Kale. He's a cautious fellow, but something got the better of him, and he spent several hours gambling. Unfortunately, he wasn't very good at it, and now he owes me 1,100 caps. He ran off and is hiding from me somewhere in the town of Novak. He'll probably be skittish as hell. He won't take much convincing to get the money from. Let me know when you have it. it sounds like, at least with his money, he wasn't very careful. Ah, maybe he should have let us into his room. Oh, lettuce and kale, I get it. Yeah, I get it? Yeah. It's a vegetable pot! Ha-ha! 
You know how normally on a gun, if I want to load around on this thing, I can take the mag out, put the mag in, and then pull the slide back like this. Um, a high point, you can just hold the high point straight up in the air and then rip your arm back real fast and that'll <laughs> chamber around into it. <laughs> That's not safe. No, it really isn't. But if you need a gun and you need it real cheap, you can get a high point for 120 bucks. Or just pick up a rock for all the effectiveness. Um, my guess is he's probably in one of these rooms. Probably. Maybe. Oh, maybe upstairs. Mm -hmm. That's probably where he is. Howdy. Hi, Daisy. Hi, Daisy. Doc Friday is drunk. Vincent, how's it going? They said on Sunday. No, you're still broken. Okay. Oh, Vincent. Oh, get some sleep, Vincent. What? <laughs> I didn't mean right. All right, let's just jump over him. Yep. Sorry, I didn't mean to step on you, Vincent. He's cuddling his golf club. All right. Oh, he's not even in any of these hotel rooms. He's like behind the hotel. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. Butts Lane. Yep, this is it. Novak Settler, Novak Settler, Novak Settler. Uh-oh. This is a glitch, huh? We're gonna have to murder this man in his family's home. Uh oh What do you want from me? No, nothing. Try calming down for a bit. That's easy for you to say. Okay, but seriously. Mr. Franco wants his money. Fork it over. Fork it over. Oh, God. Uh, I, I don't have it on me. It's in a safe in the back room. Here's the key. Just... Take it and leave me the hell alone. Oh. What, this safe? Right here? <laughs> you search the safe and don't find any money. You better check with Danny. Oh. <laughs> I'm not letting you take all my money. I have feared Mr. Franco long enough. <laughs> this ends now. You're just scared. We could appreciate that. Don't try that crap. I'm sending Mr. Franco a clear message this time. Uh-huh. Oh. Hey, I'll murder this man. Oh, he's dead, all right. Oh no! This man tried to attack us! Quick, let's plant a gun on his body so it doesn't look like we murdered him in cold blood. That was the gun he had equipped. We oh. didn't murder him in cold blood. Oh, you're right! <laughs> Single shotgun, this poor, poor bastard. <laughs> Do you guys care that we we murdered Danny Kale? Someone finally put down that sick motor runner <laughs> son of a bitch. Good riddance. Guess not! Alright, well that went about as well as I expected. Yeah. That... What the f... <laughs> <laughs> Vincent, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh my god, alright. What was that? Uh, alright, have I have I used the Toker FTT 33 enough? Have I been sufficiently punished? Can I not use it anymore? No one's making you use it! <laughs> the fuck is this? The hell is Miss Fortune's bad luck bringer? When did that get added to your inventory? I don't know! Well, let's murder somebody with it next! It looks like a really low poly pistol. Hey, hey, fellow, what? Oh, god damn it! Just take my guns! Here, have the Tokarev! Hopefully, he forgets that I gave it to him and just keeps it. <laughs> I think he's a freaking monkey's paw. <laughs> Did you handle Kale yet? Yes, he tried to kill us, but we got him in the end! Huh, that's surprising. I wouldn't expect that kind of behavior from him. Now that I know I can trust you, I'll uh, reward you with a few items and a cut of the money he owed me. Oh. Are you prepared Ooh. for another job? Hell yeah, I am. What's this next one? Well, this is the last one, but it will be the hardest one by far. Oh, this is the, the last guy one? Just goes by Don. He leads a small gang of five or six people who usually hang out around the Samson rock crushing plant south of here. Huh? Get the money from him. Just be careful. His men are some mean thugs, and if you rub them the wrong way, you just might end up six feet under. Let me know when you deal with him. Okay, if we don't return, it's because we died! Our time as a debt collector is about to come to an end, but don't worry, there will be other opportunities in the future! There are always debts to collect. God, this thing just launches people! one position what the hell is this gun first two rounds knock them back second two rounds paralyze them and then the last two just do a bunch of extra damage i think each bullet has a random effect you never know what you're gonna get that's why it's misfortune's gun oh thug thug you must be the leader this here is our territory 
Why don't you give us one good reason not to beat your skull in? Because when I tan, I remember to take off my shirt. <laughs> uh, Mr. Franco wants his money. Just hand it over and there won't be any problems. Or I don't give you the money and you piss off. Counteroffer, I shoot you with this gun. And we assist. Where do you gun. think you're going, buckaroo? Whoa! <laughs> nope. Oh, got turned into goop. Oh, I didn't even get to use this thing very much. <laughs> you were saying you weren't going to use it, and now you're... Ah! The ricochet hit me! Oh, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> if you want to test that gun, we are in fiend territory. That's true. I could just gun down some fiends over here. GSH-18! Hey, Look found... at this weird thing. You found another gun. Yeah, I found another one. Is it a good one? GSH-18 is weird. I think it's a rotating lug barrel pistol. Oh my god, apparently a ton of fiends just showed up. Oh, good, they oh my god! They literally respond at the exact same time! Ten seconds ago, we couldn't find any fiends, and now there's so many, it's crashing the game! Of course, this is how I die. Oh, thank god, that was a nightmare in there. Oh, so oh god, there's fiends out here too! <laughs> of course, of course, the fiends outside respond at the same time. Oh good, an energy weapon. Well, actually, it's not a bad looking weapon. Yeah, ooh, it fires red lasers. I, it, it is kind of weird that the whole pistol cocks off to the side when I fire it though. Pew! Uh, Pew! That's unfortunate. Pew! Quirky, but unfortunate. In, watching the stars above. Ah, good traveling music. Hoping that, that I could win back your love. Uh. <laughs> this is why the band broke up, Mike. <laughs> the difference between the M4 and M4A1 is that the M4 is three round burst, whereas the M4A1 is full auto and has a heavy barrel. What do you call the M4 that's not A1 to distinguish it from the other M4 that is an A1? You just call it an M4. That's confusing. You should call it the M4A0. No, you just call it the M4. Yeah, you could, but that might be confusing to that people. That isn't confusing. It is to people who aren't frequent with M4 parlance. Your point is null and void. And that's why I'm calling it the M4A0. You can do that if you want to, but nobody else is going to know what you're talking about. Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? What's our prize today? The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. Seymour. <laughs> he gave us Seymour. What the fuck is Seymour? What? Oh, it's a, it, it's a petrified dog. Oh, no. It's a, it's a petrified dog. Oh, no. I'm sad now. <laughs> oh. It's a Futurama reference. Oh, man. I'm walking on sunshine. Woo! <laughs> I will wait for you. For a thousand summers, Oh my I god, just let me sing it. <laughs> if it takes forever, I will wait for you. For a thousand summers, I will wait for you. You're actually much better at singing than I am. <laughs> hey, hey, fellow, welcome to the Tops oh. Hotel and Casino. You know, every time he takes our weapons, we somehow wind up with more weapons when we leave. I think he's given us other people's weapons. You guys you, gotta put your names on these. Yeah, you really should put call tags on these things. And how's our little thug doing? He's mildly erect. Oh, you're talking about us. <laughs> there was no talking to that guy, but I got your caps. Hey, good job. Well, those are all the debts people hadn't repaid me. Thanks for gathering them for me. Here's a little something uh, special. I don't have much use for anymore. Hmm? Please, gamble a little. Have fun. Let loose. You've earned it. The Persuader. Oh boy, he gave us a gun inside the casino where we're not allowed to have guns. Oh boy, let's go outside and try it on some innocent bystanders. Okay. <laughs> yep, hunting a revolver with a scope and 4570 government. I have no desire to use this. <laughs> Wait, really? Because it's a hunting revolver and a powerful caliber? I, I don't want to use scoped weapons. Wait, not even for long-distance sniping? It's, this isn't a long-distance sniper rifle, it's a revolver! So you do want to use scopes, just not on your revolver. Watch your cat, they go quick. 
Where did I even find a speed loader in 4570? <laughs> about where did i even find a speed loader in 4570 for this thing that makes no sense who would have thought a place like this would exist i don't know not me definitely not me die <laughs> oh no hey franco we tested out your gun it was pretty good but um i do have some complaints number one i don't like it these folks are mad in the wet hand see look how weak it is Look how many times you have to shoot you to kill you. Oh, Benny. No, no, we're not doing the main quest. End the episode. End it. End Every single time I walk past the Gamora and I see that woman up there, all I can imagine is she's just like, I'm on fire. Oh, my God. I'm going to be turned into a pillar of salt. That was Lot's wife. <laughs> Unlike Lot's boyfriend who turned into a pillar of pepper. And Lot's cousin who got turned into a pillar of paprika. <laughs>